Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Rory Barros, your Arizona realtor with HomeSmart. I'm here at uh, Wild Horse Estates here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, it's a brand new community. Uh, there's quite a few uh, lots still available and some spec homes as well. Um, we're here off of Cactus uh, Road and 94th Street. Um, those mountain ranges in the back of the McDowell Mountain Range, as you can see. Uh, very nice community here by Pulte. They have two models we can view today. I'm going to show you. The first one, there's five uh, models here. Uh, they're, they start at about 3,100 square feet all the way up to about 4,700 square feet. Uh, the first mall here on the left that they have is Virtue, and this is uh, 3,100 square feet, and it starts at 1.5 million. Um, that's the one I'm going to go and preview for you in a minute, but I just kind of wanted to show you the uh, elevation of it. Uh, that's the sales office here on the left, which is actually the garage. And then this one next to it is the Sterling. The Sterling model is 4767 square feet and it starts at 1.9 million. Uh, it's a four bedroom, four and a half bath, uh, four car garage. And then there's some options obviously on the flexibility on the build out. These are really nicely appointed inside, so the prices are going to be basically your base price. These usually have about three to four hundred thousand dollars in upgrades inside, uh, as you could tell when you walk in when I show you the inside. Um, once again, just kind of pan here, show you there's a lot of them still in the construction. So there are some spec homes uh, and some lots, and I'll put descriptions and links below, or you can feel free to contact me later uh, as things move pretty quickly here and we can kind of go through the detail of what's available uh, and so forth. All right, I will go ahead and take you inside and then we'll take a tour or of the Virtue model. Okay, this is the Virtue model. So I'm gonna take you inside here. So this is the virtual model and there's a bedroom. Looks like I think, I think these are en suites. So here's one of the bedrooms. Now this is a single story. And most of this is 10 and 12 foot ceilings in here. And again, once you're looking at this, understand that most of these uh, tiles, tile options like the floor, these look like 12 by 24 tiles. Uh, tiles in the shower and so forth are upgrades. Countertop on this one is quartz, but I know the granite is included. Um, and it's probably not that much of an upgrade on the granite to quartz. Um, large baseboards, good size closet. Now these are, in this price point, are always solid core doors. And here you have a second bedroom with walk-in, and all these have walk-in closets. And I believe this one also, yeah, so it's got its own full bathroom. These are en suites are really nice. Uh, again, you got uh, quartz countertops, um, all tile and frameless glass in the shower doors. And these are also, one thing good to note is these are what's called zero entry. Uh, so there's no step here, as you see my foot. It's just straight in. Um, these are really nice. So for people who, you know, especially if you get injured or something like that and you're walking in with a, a walker or a cane or something like that, you don't have to worry about that step on the ground and getting and, and you know, tripping and so forth. Uh, these are all dual pane windows, of course. Um, they're black. I did see a note as far as the, the window's concerned that uh, they said black might not be an option. I think it's just issues with you know, supply chain still having an issue with some of this. Um, I'll put a link in the description because obviously with new builds, there's a lot of you know different uh, upgrades and different uh, configurations and sometimes there's options that you can add or delete things. Here is a half bath. Fans on here, so. Um, Again, nice tall ceilings here and all tile, including tiles on the wall, the wainscots. Nice large entry here. 
probably about a five, five, six foot span on the entry. Now here, you could use this room, probably the configuration. I mean, I know it comes this way. This looks like a kind of a, well, a secondary room because I'll pan this way real quick. The kitchen is here and there's a dining area there. So could have a secondary table here. This could possibly get framed out here and just cut and made an office in here if you need it to. Uh, it does have an egress going outside here to the covered patio. Got these nice large sliders. Um, and of course, tile on the walls too here. So just really nice and decorated nicely. These are, looks like 12 by 24 tiles. Uh, nicely upgraded. Now, fireplace. This is actually, I thought it was a tile. This is actually, looks like some type of a wallpaper uh, here. Nice finish though. Those, that is tile on the wall in the back. So that's something that you could, you know, upgrade. Of course, you got, uh, you know, the electric fireplaces. They actually work pretty good. Uh, some of them are visual and some have a motor that actually blows out and it gets pretty warm. We've installed those before. Um, again, you got high ceilings. There's a butler, butler pantry with a little wine fridge here. Of course, countertops again. And of course, you got the little sink here for the bar area. Now the double oven is included. Uh, fridge, I understand, is optional. Uh, it is not included, so you can probably get a matching. This KitchenAid one is actually pretty nice. Actually mimics the, uh, the kind of the sub-zeros. I really like these. So if you're not stuck on name brand, uh, this would be a nice uh, fridge to have. Cabinets are all soft clothes. And these are the new uh, microwave convection ovens. So it's a combination. So in essence, you have dual sinks here. Again, of course, quartz countertop. The cooktop is included. It's gas, which is nice that it has gas. A lot of new developments don't have gas. Of course, you got the large cabinets, 42s, and the uppers even further, which I'm too short and I can't reach. So therefore, I won't even bother to, you know, open those and show you. You got a waterfall edge counter here on both sides. On that side, it's a pretty large one here. As you can see, they have seating for four chairs comfortably here. And then of course, if you add some additional ones on the side, um, it will be a very large island to, you know, have company when you're entertaining. Uh, this looks the, obviously the formal dining area here. Um, just pan these, lots of windows, which is nice. And of course, this is a huge upgrade, but you know, here's a, I'll take it from this perspective. You can see the full uh, opening here in the glass. So the, you've got three panels on each side and two panels will slide. So one is obviously the fixed panel here, but it's got a huge opening at this point in this great area uh, to kind of bring the outdoors in. And that's, that's super nice. Uh, walking over here, um, we have the master suite or primary bedroom. Um, again, high ceilings, uh, lots of windows, lots of room in, in this. I mean, you have the full section, sectional couch here. Tall baseboards, this is just gorgeous. I like how they decorated it too. And then of course you have your master bathroom here. It, it's, it's quite large to say the least. Um, got some linen closet here, quartz countertop. This is nice. A lot of people really enjoy having a split, uh, kind of a his and hers, his and his, uh, hers and hers, whatever the case may be. You got two separate areas, uh, two sinks. Um, this obviously has a kind of a drop down. And this one has, of course, again, keep in mind that these have a lot of upgrades, the tiles are all the way to the ceiling, all the way to the 12 foot. And then you have this massive uh, walk-in shower here, uh, frameless, so there's no door. And of course, a zero entry here on the floor, so on the shower from one tile to the tile here. Um, of course, you got your controls here so you don't get you know, wet when it is just kind of heating up for you and a, and a large 
seating area bench over here that's already nicely sculpted. I don't know if you can see this from the camera, but it's already nicely pitched. So the water drains nicely down. It doesn't pool in the area. Um, and then, of course, a separate uh, toilet room and the massive uh, walk-in closet. I'll just pan this real quick. As you can see, it goes again. These are about a 10 foot ceilings and it's just completely, you know, finished out here with uh, shelving. And these are all adjustable. The nice thing about it, it's these slats on the wall. You can adjust these shelving any way you want. Basically, you can change the whole configuration if you want it to, because it just connects to the slats on the wall. And, um, and in a nice area down here to sit down and put your shoes on and get dressed and so forth. And it actually has a, it's plumbed or wired, excuse me, for a ceiling fan too, which is nice. So in the summer months, if you want a little bit of movement of air in here, you can have that. So let me take you to the, before we go outside, let me finish this. Of course, we can't go in the sales office because that's the garage right here. There is a, let's see if I can get the lights in here. Oh, no lights in here. Uh, you got a nice large walk-in pantry. I apologize. Looks like the light bulb is off. And um, I don't know if I can come in here real quick. Can I pan this room real quick? And we got a uh, full-size laundry room here, washer dryer, countertop space, stainless steel fridge, and of course the networking system in here as well. Sales office is in here and we have additional um, storage in here as well. Thanks guys. Let me take you outside. Okay, Have these doors. Large, let's start with this real quick. This is just awesome back here. So this area here is all covered. As you can tell me, come from this direction. Here are those doors that I showed you. Nice covered area here for outdoor seating, big screen TV, of course, all upgraded, but these are just showing you the ideas of how you could, you know, decorate this home. Nice sectional here, and then more additional seating here on this side. And then that was the room I was talking about initially that could be converted if you needed to and have an office or if you just want it Kind of a different area so if somebody's watching television or something out here there's a different room that you could be sitting over there to kind of enjoy whatever you're watching um this pool is gorgeous and it's i'm sure it was quite a bit of an upgrade as you could see uh, got your hot tub here that overflows you know like all the water here is just kind of cascading to the bottom and then of course you have some, uh, you got artificial turf there. Again, you get the mountain views. You do have the steps here into a nice barbecue area. I love the ceiling on this. Looks like it's probably, it's either pine, it's gotta be probably cedar, I'm gonna guess, or treated pine, one of the two. Uh, so it's got a nice shaded area here. Um, of course, a big seating area, barbecue. Suppose you probably, have a hole there, there's scuppers that the water's not running, but I suppose you could probably put a fireplace or maybe a fire pit over there. Since you have gas here, that's the nice thing about it. You could run the gas line to the back if you wanted a kind of a gas seating area over there. So, and you can go from this pathway here. Uh, more and more people are putting artificial turf. It's just no, trying to save water and just the maintenance of everything. Uh, it makes a lot more sense a lot of times to put um, just the artificial turf. I actually have it in my house and I love it. And I have it in the front yard. So once again, this particular one is the Virtue model. Now there's a couple things. Let me just get my notes out real quick here. Um, so they're doing 3%. So if you're financing this home, they're doing 3% um off the base price at close of escrow so they will give three percent back if you're buying cash they are doing a three percent off the base price for cash um so that's that's a couple possibilities this house the way it shows with all the upgrades is about 2.3 million they've really sunk in a lot uh of upgrades in especially with this uh pool and hot tub area and so forth 
So, but there's a couple of spec homes coming in uh, late summer. That could be a possibility and it's a little bit less in price points. So anyways, thanks again for watching the channel. Uh, subscribe and link and leave some comments and uh, go ahead. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll be glad to answer them for you and go from there. Thank you.